Uh, thank you, Zukin, for uh, hosting with this with us. Um, and uh, I'm looking for, forward to today's uh, webinar. It's an important topic to everybody, all designers. Uh, and uh, please ask uh, some difficult questions. You know, we have Lance, a uh, technical expert on the call. Um, we also have PCB engineers on the call. So as always, uh, please uh, hit us up for your difficult and most challenging uh, questions. With that, I'll get started. So if you don't know Sierra Circuits, we're a PCB manufacturer and assembler uh, in the Silicon Valley and we cater to um, all the uh, businesses around here as well as uh, throughout the United States, uh, ranging from military aero to um, you know, industrial and consumer. Here's the TOC. And I uh, really want to start off with just the basics. So why decoupling capacitors? So decoupling capacitors are essential for filtering high frequency noise and ensuring a stable power supply uh, to your ICs. Uh, you know, these capacitors will dampen the high frequency resonances and minimize unwanted parasitic oscillations in your power supply lines. So these uh, moreover will ensure smooth signal transmission by reducing EMI and crosstalk between adjacent traces. And then another vital function uh, of DCAPs is maintaining a steady voltage level uh, by providing a local energy reservoir. So when your circuit demands a sudden surge of power, um, you know, these capacitors can supply the necessary, um, you know, charge, keeping your, your voltage stable. And, and then lastly, decoupling capacitors prevent power supply variations uh, in one section, which, you know, may affect another section. These are all very uh, critical points to uh, your PCB uh, functioning properly. So we're gonna start off talking about local decoupling capacitors and their importance. So these small capacitors are typically placed close to the IC's power pin. The typical values of these capacitors range from 0.01 to 0.1 microfarad. And one of the primary purposes of local decoupling capacitors is noise reduction. So these capacitors will filter out high frequency noise generated by the IC's fast switching activities and additionally, these capacitors help minimize parasitic inductance in the, in the power delivery network. And we have the bulk decoupling capacitors, which are larger capacitors generally placed on the power distribution network or PDN. And depending on your circuit's power requirements, the typical values of bulk decoupling capacitors range from 10 to several hundred microfarads. And one of the primary purposes of bulk decoupling capacitors is to maintain overall voltage stability across the entire um, you know, circuit board. And these capacitors can suddenly, uh, can, sorry, can supply transient charge uh, when needed, ensuring the voltage remains stable even during sudden uh, changes in the load. So bulk decoupling capacitors filter low frequency noise and transients that uh, smaller local decoupling capacitors cannot uh, manage. Uh, so we have a new tool, uh, PDN um, analyzer, um, you know, which is free to everybody. And I think we're gonna do a demo of that. Is that right, Lucy? Yes, uh, Vandana is here. She's going to do the demo. Okay, I'll stop uh, sharing. Thank you, so. Oh. So Sierra Circuits Power Distribution Network Analyzer determines the target impedance, fastest rise time, uh, rise time, and the maximum frequency here for a PDN based on the power rail voltage, maximum power rail current, and the acceptable voltage ripple, uh, and also the switching current here. Uh, to use the calculator, we enter the power rail voltage. Uh, let's go for 3.5 uh, volts for now. Uh, let's change the acceptable voltage ripple to 2.5%. Uh, 
we enter one ampere for the maximum power rail current and 80% of I max of uh, switching current. Now we can click on calculate. Uh, this displays the target uh, impedance here. Uh, you can calculate the maximum frequency uh, by changing the fastest rise time if you wish to, and then click on calculate. Or uh, you can also use this drop down here to uh, calculate the fastest rise time uh, for a given maximum frequency. Click on the save to table button here and the calculated power rail will be saved in the button, uh, in the uh, table below. Uh, you can export this to Excel too. Uh, and you can start your calculations for a new power rail. Uh, the power network in your circuit board layout should ensure a stable power delivery. So high switching speeds can lead to voltage fluctuations, crosstalk and EMI in the system and hinder the performance and the reliability of PCB. These challenges can overcome uh, by maintaining a power supply's AC impedance below a target impedance. Uh, and our tool helps you to optimize the power delivery network in your PCB layout. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so, as always, ask questions. Um, I think we'll probably save the answers to the end. And if the webinar goes over a little bit, I think that's okay. We have some good um, demos from Zukin uh, later. So, placing decaps, um, you know, to achieve power integrity. So, first we'll talk about placing decaps without power planes. So uh, place at least one local decoupling capacitor between ICs, voltage, and ground pins. Uh, this placement will help to filter noise and, and provides a stable power supply to the IC. Um, use capacitors with nominal values as such. Um, you know, maintain a small loop area between the capacitors and active devices. Add two local decoupling capacitors of the same value instead of one with double the value. This can uh, help reduce overall inductance and improve uh, filtering efficiency. And position bulk decoupling capacitors near the power supply to ensure overall voltage stability. These capacitors act as reservoirs, as we were talking about, providing charge during transient events and maintaining stable voltage. The values uh, for bulk decoupling capacitors should be two to 10 times the local decoupling capacitors on the same voltage bus. And this ensures the bulk capacitors can effectively support the local capacitors to maintain uh, voltage stability. So next we'll talk about uh, placing uh, decaps with broadly spaced uh, power planes. The loop inductance can significantly affect circuit performance when the power planes are spaced more than 0.5 mm apart, or you know, roughly 20 mils. To mitigate this, place capacitors close to the IC's power and ground pins. This proximity helps reduce the loop inductance and improves the capacitor's effectiveness. So do not add vias between decoupling capacitors and an active device when they are located on the opposite sides of the board. Avoid traces between capacitor pads and vias Position via directly on the mounting pads. Place the capacitor as close as possible to the power pin and connect the ground pin to the ground plane using a via. Uh, 